What is it like to live with the longest wheelbase Rolls Royce Phantom? Hi guys, as you can tell, today we're not in my office where we normally film. This is my home garage. And today I want to show you guys and talk about what is it like to own the longest Rolls Royce Phantom. This is my extended wheelbase Phantom. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> this is the extended wheelbase Rolls Royce Phantom for the royalties. And it's got a lot of cool things. It's got power blinds, which I want to show you guys. But this is what I take when I go to events. Obviously, I'm driven in it normally, but today I get to drive it to show you guys what the car is about. So, uh, once again, the hustle and the grind doesn't end by moving cars. I gotta move that drop head before I can move this boat out of here. What's cool about my drop head, it has an automatic door closure. Check this button. Batteries are alive. Wait, this thing's too long. I don't think I can turn in here. Oh my god. I think you should go straight back because it's all the way out. No. No? No, that's okay. Try that once. It took me 25 minutes. This is what happens when you own two big giant boats. And this thing is no joke. I think it's 250 inches. This thing's a bump. That's what I told you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole video is gonna be the whole video is gonna be like, how many people that is? 250 inch rules on it. In reverse. There you go. Now you know why I don't bring my supercars to my house. That driveway is a nightmare. Anyhow, back to the Rolls Royce. Look at the size of these doors. This thing is a tank. Look at the thickness of the doors. This thing is really an amazing piece of metal. Umbrellas, I was told these are $2,500 each. So every time I go to valet, or actually my driver takes it to the valet. I have to do an inventory check on my umbrella. Make sure they didn't take it. Look at this leg room. Very comfortable. It's got mirror for your makeup. It's got shades. Hey, there's my glasses. I was looking for these. And mint. Um, what was the last time you took this car? Like, what event? Oh, I don't remember. Let me see. Oh yeah, last time we used this car was four or five months ago for a charity event in LA. That's why the battery was dead two days ago when I found out I want to film this car. So I just put new batteries in it. So it's nice, nice and ready to go. It's got a cool entertainment system here. Royce Royce good wood. And you bet your butt the wood is really good on this car. Yeah. So this is your picnic table, but what I love the most about this car, it's got the starlight ceiling. See the lights coming up? At night is really cool, right? And it's got the shades. Look at that. And it's got power shades in the back too. I think it does. There we go. 
So you got full privacy. The only shades missing is right here between you and your driver. But let's open all these. Great success. So anyhow, you got your control button here. So you can, you know, control the music, radio, CD, your TVs. And what else do we have? Oh, it got seat warmers. If you live in Canada, come right. handy. So each passenger on each side has their own climate control. You can, you know, control the temperature. And there's a mother of pearl. This was a expensive option. I think I paid 10 grand. And uh, it's really classic, you know, with the black piano wood, mother of pearl. And I went with the obviously black carpet so it doesn't get dirty often. People always ask, would you rather have a big house or a big car? I'm like, why not have both? A big car. You can use it as a house. Oh, man. And you get to have your own stars. I wish I had this when I was younger. So comfortable. You got your TVs, your stars, and your own heater and air conditioner right here. Amazing. Everything with this car is big, bold, heavy, powerful, and comfortable. And let's take it for a ride. These doors are heavy, heavy, heavy. This is really cool feature here. Your navigation screen is right here. So if you don't want to stare at this digital world, you can go back to the classic world with the Rolls Royce clock. Let's take it for a spin. What was the last time you drove this car? Oh, probably a year ago. Seats are here. The car is almost nine years old and still floats like a boat. Look at this, you can't even hear the engine. Very smooth. So this car has 453 horsepower and it's almost three tons. So basically it's a tank. The new Phantom, which they refreshed, comes with a turbos and has 560 horsepower, if I'm not mistaken and still heavy, but a lot more horsepower and much a smoother transmission and suspension. So if you think this is smooth, just imagine the new Phantom, which I'm going to upgrade soon. And if you guys wanna know about gas mileage, don't ask. It's actually 11 miles per gallon, but I feel like it does more like eight. It actually tells you on here. T I was right. 7.9 miles per gallon consumption. God darn it. I need to buy a gas station. This is almost as bad as a Bugatti when it comes to gas mileage. Oh, look at that view. That's what it's life, that's what life's about. All right, let's go look under the hood. I don't remember the last time I opened the hood on this thing. Where is the opener? Aha, uh -huh, it's on the sides. Not a huge engine, right? For a car this size. But uh, there you have it. V12, 6.75 liter, no turbos. So there is no lag, but also you don't have that big push when you step on it. Look at the size of these tires. So these are run flats. They're not cheap every time you get a nail in there. But what's nice, you can drive, I think up to 50 miles an hour until you get to your next stop to um, replace the tires. Oh boy, I should have clean this up for this video and there you have it nice clean trunk so you got your first aid kit here is this first aid kit but all you see is a couple of wrenches and fuse box over here this is actually where you charge your car and shame on you Rolls Royce when you bought this car you didn't give me a charger the new Rolls Royce comes with a charger but this one you got to pay for it and here is an extra place to hide your junk. Hey, what's that? First aid kit, we found it. I've never opened it. All right, so as you can see, trunk is not as small as I thought. You can easily fit in it. See, there's another place you can take a nap. So if this was a house, it'll be a nice two bedroom, zero bath. All right, and guess what? You get to have a power closure. I feel like even Toyota Camry is coming out now, but anyway. So this car comes obviously with air shocks. Imagine almost three tons. So it has different levels for comfort. 
and uh, that's about it, boys and girls. You know what? I'm not putting this thing back in the garage. I'm just gonna park it outside. Too much of a challenge. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and like my channel. I know you were expecting another Bugatti, but I decided to show you something different. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you ever need to buy a house that's got 12 cylinders and it's super comfortable and three tons of safety, hit me up. I may want to upgrade my Phantom. A lot of my success has been through trial and errors. Over the past 28 years, had I had a mentor early on, I would have saved a lot of money and lots of time and avoid a lot of pitfalls. So lucky for you, I'm giving you the opportunity to be mentored by me. I created something I wish I had when I got started. We call it Manny Koshbin's Millionaire Mentorship.